Hey, Cam Calendar here. So we're going to go on to editing your page here a little bit more. What we're going to do now is add in the secondary pages so that we can make the catalogs uh, links. So what I'll end up doing is clicking to add a page, come with a new page, title this one persons. that image and this will be our new page we'll have our purses page and i'll add another one the catalog for our first slides and sets we'll just go ahead and add these there. Slides. Add this one in. That will be the page image. Go back and grab the purses image. one put it edit actually don't want to edit the page I want to edit the settings I can get the image and change this image to the actual purses Boom. easy enough to upload and change images then we'll save that Which template I want to use. I'm a fan of the agency. I like the color scheme that they have. Um, but you can change the colors and do everything else. Have the checkout form. Don't need instant access. I should just change this to. Uh, Put in some description there if we want to. Check this box out. Your order. Content. Want me to testimonial? 
We'll leave those secure safe in there. Or, you know, leave all that. Just shorten this box up. You can see how easy it is. It's all drag and drop, so you can move things and resize it very easily. On there. Likely take out this. Size this stuff a little smaller. And then here you can have any uh, special taglines that you're going to use. Um, if you're going to do free shipping, so you know, international shipping. Dollars. Uh, what do I do here? So what this will do is once with the product. That's where you'll put that in. I'll show you that where we grab that link here in a second. But it'll be from your super checkout. So your product. So doing the photo side. So here's the links. So this is what it would be here. This will be the five page. Yeah, I want this URL. This will be the buy page. We're going to have their name, phone number, email address, buy, and then we can add in if you want to upgrade for free shipping, stuff like that. You can add different pieces to it. This essentially will be your buy page. And then however you want to sell it, they, you know, on the website, if you want to do pickup or however you want to confirm it. But this essentially, once they click that, then it'll go on to the shopping cart where they actually put in their payment information. So we'll create a thank you page as well. That's for the first slides. And then we'll do one for purses. Which I'll show you a cool thing that you can do. So we'll say this. This is on. That's actually the wrong link. Copy this again, put it on the first slides page. Save this version. 
now. Slides kind of do the same thing. Add the panel, check out the agency. I think it created it twice, it did. That's fine, just click here, delete that. It did it twice. <laughs> we'll come back and we'll edit this element. We got the name and we'll put it in the URL so that it copies over the same product offering. Then we'll just size up the box and move these up. Thing. So uh, this is for slides. Uh, this can be for a specific color. So we'll say this is red. Mm -hmm. But you can always fill those in. This is an extra panel. That panel three. Now uh, down to one panel. That window out. This is the general look, <clears throat> and then I'll show you. Uh, we'll do it quick and simple on the other on the other slide. So then we've got purses, we got first slides, and I'll, I'll show you one thing that's going to be really cool when we make the the other page. So what we'll do is Now that we've got those pages, we can edit this menu. So we'll configure the items, so catalogs. Actually, catalog, and we'll edit the catalog. And so now purses, we'll come here to link. And now we can title it to the purses page. So now it'll actually go to that page. Edit this one as well. Get that link and then we'll go to page to set it. And now we can set it to per slides. We'll save that and I'll, and I'll do the, uh, the 12 sets in just a second. We'll make sure, copy it to this menu as well. Purses, page, link it to purses. And then we'll link this to first slides. Yeah, product name. Let's do this one as we got the link to the red box. That in there. Size this up a little smaller.
you can set up the automated email that goes out after they get an automated email that would actually go to them once they purchase. You can pull that sizing up. This is a little bit smaller. I'm not scrolling too far after the sale page. So there. We'll save that. So now, well, this in what I was going to show you before, what we can do that's going to be pretty quick and easy. So now, now that we got that, now we're going to do the sets. So let me save this image real quick. All right, that's fine. So now we'll go to the home page. I'm going to save and exit. I'm going to show you what we can do. But now that this is already created, so what I can do is I can come in and duplicate this. And then we're just going to go to the settings and edit it. So this is now going to be. Now that's quick and easy to edit. And we just change the image. The sets picture. And then save. Now we've got the sets page. Now we can change this from purchase. Purses, and boom, everything's already there created again. We don't have to do it all over again. And you can do this, you can duplicate at any time. So if you want to create a different page for every set, for different colors, um, if you want to add in a different product, a new product, you can easily just copy the page and build a new page. So then now that that's built, We'll go back to the 1229 page so that we can add this new page to the menu. So we'll go to catalog, we'll configure the catalog item, edit catalog, and now here's 12 sets. Go to edit, page, and now we can select the 12 sets. And then save, and save, and then we'll do it on the bottom one. Edit and 12 sets. Boom. Now you have your pages locked for all of them. And then we'll go in and create the actual checkout for the set. So that one's for first, first slides. So we'll create, now we'll create the purses product. widen this out a little bit. Okay. The address. Next, PayPal, and then you can add other payment options if you have um, any of these. Uh, um, PayPal is easy to set up if you don't have that. You can get that set up with you, but you can use any of these. Um, BitPay is pretty cool if you use cryptocurrency. I've used BitPay before. Um, that one's pretty good, uh, but you can set up any of these uh, payment options. And then there's there's always training help so you can click here to go to the knowledge base and get training on each of these different options, but you can see the different options. So depending on which 
gateway you have. Um, PayPal is pretty common, pretty easy to use as well, especially when you set up the business account. So let me change this to dollar, single payment, uh, get the amount here, purchase of 20. And then taxes, can set taxes. Um, tax, usually a percentage. Um, I'm not about to double check what the percentage you should be charging for the state tax, uh, but sales tax will have some type of percentage. Um, best to collect it so you can get that on your taxes when, when it comes time for it. But usually nine or 10% tax is about standard. Um, you can set a refund period. Um, if you want, but you can go always do all sales or final. Then no affiliation, we'll use the two-step checkout. So purses will be your sales page. And then we'll set up mailing boss Look at a later time. But you'll have vending cart emails, so it'll automatically email them. If they put it in the cart, they don't finish. The um, reason why we'll set up mailing boss later is because we'll actually set up mailing boss on your account. I don't want to set it up and link it to mine, uh, but I might end up doing that if if you do if we do end up writing if you have me writing an email campaign for you. Free shipping, and then terms of use. You can this is our terms of use uh, refunds. You know, it's basically telling you that builder all is just using the checkout function. So and how it supports, this is actually, you know, how we support and how, how you use the platform to sell products. So then we'll create that product. So now you've got purses, you've got slides, and now we'll create one for the sets. And then you just duplicate those after. 12 sets. little too big for it, um, but that's fine. Let's go get the majority of the idea. Physical, clothing accessory, PayPal, US dollar. Dollars for the set. Add tax. Percent. Hit next. Next. Two step. It's going to be on the sets page. Next. And you just go through. Next, 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 next. Check and create. So now that the products are created, we make sure they're linked in each of the pages. So here we'll go to purses page. Got this here, iframe, no settings. Oh, this is choke. Check out links. Let's see how sales page. Oh, there's the sales page. Yep. Looks good there. This from sets, we'll go to the sets page, exit. Click here, settings. Try that. 
so that it's updated to the actual correct product, the sets product versus an exit. Each one of them all set up. Close out of that page now. There's your three central sales pages for each of your products. And then you can do the variations a couple of different ways. So we can do the sales checkout, like we can actually link each page or color. So, and then you can always duplicate these. So purses, you know, 12 sets, you can duplicate it for whichever set you wanna build. Wanna do full this image. So if we wanted to do this, we duplicate the product, edit, and we'll change this to purple set. Okay. All set. And then already got everything else set. So 70. Um, to do the taxes because it's technically a different product. Tax. Next. And then we can next all the way through for the rest of it. So I have the sets page. Next, 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 next. Save, and there you go. I have purple set. <clears throat> you have the link to that, so you can create another. So you can create another page if you want to. If you want to do a different page for each individual item, you can do that as well. or we can create it as up sales. So essentially where it has this upgrade and save, we can do the upgrades as the different colors. And then you can do other specials, like if you wanted to do, um, like if you wanted to do an offer where if they buy three sets, you get half off, um, you can do coupons. So you have a couple of different options uh, what you want to choose to do there on how you want to set those products. So if we go back and we edit this set. Um, but we'll definitely talk through it some more on the once we meet up on Sunday uh, to get some more of the configuration done on how you want to edit it. Uh, we have all those. That's all your purses, and you can do red, brown, you know, so we can do all of those. It kind of depends on how you want to set it up. Um, but we'll definitely. Uh, do that, talk more to it in the coming days and download more of the images. So just um, let me know what you'd like so far. I'll send you uh, the link to the preview. I'll actually go ahead and publish this. Um, and I'll send you the actual URL. And then I'll go to home, save and exit.
here's a look at the live site. And it has all of that there. Shipping where to, especially for here. Um, we can change all of the titling on that as well. Um, I'll actually need to do your policies page. I'll do that really quick. Um, so I'll grab your policies page really quick. So create a new page. Nine logo here. Save. And then we'll open this link page. To make it part of an agency thank you page too. This is just for the colors. This you can always change as well. The background settings, if you want to change this, they're using image, but if we wanted to just do, we've got a ton of images that we can use, um, or we can just do solid color as well. So, but yeah, there's a ton of different backgrounds. If you like one of these, you can come and select one of the backgrounds that are in the op option, or we can just delete it and make it a color. So if we just wanted to have it be the pinkish background like you had. So we can kind of choose the color. Kind of drag it around to land on the color that you like. So, this video out. And it'll literally just copy in. Your return. Facing in turn the sales and measure policies. Um, if you want to bullet point it, we can come back in here and you can add bullet points if you want. Save the page. That's fine. 
close it. And then I'll go back to the main page and I'll link that in. I'll go to the catalog, configure the item, policies, edit that page and target policies. And then there's that on the menu. And then do your item. And then edit policies, page, select policies. And then for the IG linking, you'll do the same configure. But for this one, when you click on the link, you just put in your IG URL right there and I'll go right to it. So that one. See if I can get you. There's the URL. Select, save. Click items, IG. URL, select, save, save that, it's fine. Hit an exit. And that essentially will have everything set up. So I'll go to the website. So you have your catalogs policies, link to your IG, and go to purses, and go to purse slides. And then that will have the setup. And then we just do some custom configuration after that. Make it look pretty and you'll be able to you know modify that and set it up how you want from there um, but that'll be the base template of your site and then i'll send that over to you on facebook and then we'll get together tomorrow and fine tune it <laughs>